Yo, my name is AJ, and recently I just learned this really, like, common sense, but really huge fucking thing about women that makes you so much more less attracted to them. And I'll try to break it down. I'll break it down for you as much as I can in this video. I went on my first date with this girl about two days ago, and there was something I was doing throughout the date that I had almost no clue was actually alleviating the level of attraction she was getting for me, like, making it so much higher. So, simply, I'll just break it down for you. There are pretty much different stages to where you want to escalate a girl, right? So let's say cold approach. Okay, from cold approach to get the number, from get the number to setting a date, from setting the date to either kissing or having sex. And to get to this point right here, <laughs> you need to pass through all these different trials. The mistake that the majority... Okay, I forgot to say that, but what do you think would be the mistake? The simple mistake that this girl would classify you as, which would get her to lose so much more interest in it and attractiveness for you. Just one simple mistake. Wanna know what it is? It is just simply being a girl, acting like a girl. And the way in which I mean that is when you go up to go cold approach her, or when you finally muster up the courage to go say something to her, and you, I don't know, somehow end up like initiating the conversation, and she is like talking for about like a minute or something, and she flips the question back on you. The thing that you'll end up doing, which will end up making her feel so much more or less attracted to you, is just talking too much. She'll say something, she'll flip the conversation or the question back out of you, and you'll just start speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking. And you'll be like, okay, this is what I do, this is my timetable, this is when I go to the gym, this is when I do this, this is when I do this. Uh, I don't really have that much of like an exciting life, so uh, you know, I just sit at home, I go to school, come back, go to the gym, uh, work out, eat some food, I don't know watch him YouTube. Oh, great. There's really no point in me giving him my number because he just told me everything about him. The first simple mistake that most guys need to like completely drop is just talking so much because when you talk so much, like I just said, it gives her no reason for her to even give you the number. She knows so much about you. She's like, oh, okay, this guy does this, 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 this at all these different times. I don't really care. He's like, Girl, women love the talk, right? You know this for, as for a fact. You know how much fucking w girls will just yap, 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 yap. you already know this. So what what does that convey to her subconscious mind when you're over here yapping, 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 yapping about the exact same thing about the bullshit you do in your life? It takes away this element of mystery, and I'll go into this a little bit more. But when you fucking yap, 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 bro. The majority of these escalations have no reason for them to be there. You go on a date with a girl so that she can know more about you. What the fuck is that going to do when you're over here, first cold approach, or whilst you're texting her, saying, yeah, rah, 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 I do all this, I, blah, 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 blah. I did this shit so fucking well on my first date a few days ago. From, oh yeah, no, I text in like a very, how would I even call it? No, I text in a very strategic and concise way that I text only for the sake of getting to meet up. That is, that's just the only uh, purpose of texting a girl to get a call or to meet up. You don't text for having conversation. Who, yay, we're talking about, um, I don't fucking know, uh, food, diet. No, 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 no. Conversation, conversations over text are absolutely pointless because of the tone. You already know what I mean by that. You can't tell someone's tone through text that much. But you can't tell it, really can't tell it on the phone. So what I'm just trying to say here is to be more <laughs> concise and mysterious. Don't fucking blah, 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 blah on about all the th different things in your life. I remember um, throughout the day, she asked, oh, yeah, she asked me this question. Oh, my Lord. I fucking love how I responded because I tricked the conversation back onto her in such a subtle, manipulative way. I know that sounds horrible, but it worked. huh? She asked me, oh, hey, Jay, you're looking pretty strong. Uh, when do you go to the gym? And instead of just babbling on, oh my God, I go to the gym at 4 p.m. every single day, Monday through Friday, sometimes or sometimes Saturday, not on Sundays, because on Sundays, I got to go to work and then I got to go to church. And then I, you know, sometimes I'll have my pre-workout and I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I simply responded, hmm, send her go, how often do I go to the gym? I lowered my voice too, because, you know, women love deep voice. <laughs> How often do I go to the gym? Hmm. Look at this bicep. Feel it. Oh, okay, okay. 
how often do you think I go to the gym to have a bicep like this? And she's like, I don't know, uh, daily, every day, every other day, uh, three times a week, four times a week. Hmm. How often do you eat breakfast? Oh, um, like every day. Sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I don't. Really? What kind of breakfast? Um, like, I don't know, toast, eggs, toast and eggs. Why don't you eat milk and cereal? You want to know what I just did? <laughs> I diverted the conversation so well away from what I was about to say, and I ended up not answering the question. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Oh my lord. <laughs> and obviously, whenever the question comes back to me, I'll just be like, um, sometimes you can, I'll answer with the truth. Sometimes I'll just be like, mm, I don't know. Yes. Like, okay, yeah, you got it. But most, the majority of the time, the more mysterious and concise you can be with a girl, the more likely she'll fucking, she'll want to be with you, right? Because think about it, the guy that blabbles on and on and on about pointless shit that does not matter. Bro, who cares? Girls do this all the time. You'll literally just be classified as, oh, okay, he's just another guy friend that I should not escalate shit with because he's just boring. You want to talk less. You want to be more concise. And you also don't need to answer every single question with a fucking paragraph. Paragraph, two paragraphs. Uh, the transcription of your conversation or your date with a girl should be her big old paragraph. Look, thinking seven, eight, nine sentences. You, one, two sentences. Her, eight paragraphs or eight sentences. You, two sentences. You always want to talk less. And there's another point I was going to bring up here too. When you talk less, the more mysterious will be. And I'll just give you like a, this is a little uh, side bonus before I got to go to work. But um, oh yeah, I'm also meeting up with her again today because <laughs> the date was so good. Uh, she called me yesterday and she was like, oh, OK, so um, oh, another side note. I broke up with my boyfriend today. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> but yeah, she said she called me that. And we were talking for a little bit about like, OK, how are we going to meet up today? What are we, what are we going to go to? And I started drinking my water and she starts going, oh, where are you right now? Are you at the gym? You, bro, you want to know something? I was sat down right here, literally just eating my food, doing absolutely nothing. She, she asked this question, where are you, where are you, AJ? Where are you? I know exactly what I'm going to do. As she's asking me this question, I tell her, I'm having, a, I'm having a good time right now. Laying on my back, looking up at the stars. And she's like, oh my God, where are you? Where are you? Tell me, tell me, what, what are you doing? Wh who are you with? And I'm like, I'm with someone else that knows how to have fun. And she's like, what the fuck? Where are you? <laughs> and I'm like, don't even worry about it. It's okay. But yeah, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll meet up at the mall later on at this time at 2 p.m. She's like, okay. And off the call. You want to know what that does to her? <laughs> There's a little um, subtle hack for what it takes to actually make a girl really into you. You wanna know what that is, bro? You get her to think about you more. What I've just done by telling her, oh yeah, no, no, I'm just uh, having fun under the stars with someone else that's having fun, whilst I was sat right the fuck here. She's, she's just now been given a reason to think more and more and more about me. This is what we fucking need. Because that, this, Will escalate into the next time when she meets up when she meets up with me, which is gonna be like six hours from now. She's gonna be so much more receptive to me because she's just throughout the day she's been thinking, oh my god, what was AJ doing last night? What was he doing? What was this? What was this? What was this? The more thoughts you can take up in a girl's mind, the more polarized and extreme she'll be about you. Just a quick little side note, but yeah, no. Main purpose of this video: talk less, be more concise, don't be a dumbass. Join our legion. Link in the description. Subscribe. <laughs> Dummy.